I think that in Islam, something that sets it apart from other religions is the ease of it, the simplicity. And I know that may sound strange to some people um, because they would think Islam is not easy. Look at how difficult your life is, you know, with this religion and how challenging it is. But the simplicity that I'm speaking of is when you need to make a decision and when you're going somewhere and when you're buying clothing to wear and when you, when you walk out the door, Islam helps you to make the decision to respect yourself. I think that Islam takes you and your personality and it washes it off. When I became a Muslim, it was like somebody gave me a bath. It was like um, what Christians uh, follow is a baptism. I think that in Islam, like I said, it's kind of like you wake up from the nightmare that you were living and you get to wake up and live the life that you were meant to live. So besides the photography, um, I tried to give back a little bit to the community and to the people um, about converting to Islam and about being an American Muslim. So um, what I thought of was all of the different challenges that I had faced when I was converting and wanted to create a website that would help people who were also going through those same difficulties. So one of the biggest challenges that I faced when I was converting was finding my identity. Um, as an American Muslim, you don't really feel a lot like an American anymore. Um, you feel like you don't quite fit in with your friends and family the way that you used to. When you're also on the other side as a Muslim, you're still uh, not the same as they are, not the same as a person from a Muslim country, and you may not look or act the same way that they do. So you kind of feel like, where do I belong? So I made another site, and it's a blog page uh, that helps define a little more of the Muslim American identity. So I have articles and stories and videos on there um, just describing who we are as American Muslims because my goal with that site is to give us a more positive representation and to make it to where the first thing that someone thinks of when they think of a Muslim is going to be completely different than what they think now. I find that uh, here in America, I know that people think um, it must be hard to be a Muslim that's an American living in America. And I did find out what it's like to be treated different, to be like, to be looked at by your own people as somebody that's foreign. And I am very proud to be American. I'm all about being an American and being a Muslim. Uh, this is a faith, it's a religion. It's, it's not a race, it's not you know what color of skin I am, it's not anything like that. It's just a faith that I follow. It's a, a lifestyle that I live. So um, I kind of feel bad for people when, they, when all that they know is completely wrong from what we stand for. Assalamu alaikum, sisters. Thank you so much for coming. And so I really devote a lot of time and a lot of energy to speaking out to people about being an American Muslim and about how this is a different aspect. This is a different aspect of Islam than they've ever seen. You know, this is people who only know and only live the faith. I converted uh, to Islam three months ago and um, I came today to hear Nicole's lecture uh, just regarding life without Islam is a reminder, you know, what, what life was without it. Um, everything that she said, you know, I couldn't relate, you know, because I understand what cultural norms there are here in the West um, and, and how it contrasts with, you know, the ideals of the religion. My message would be to people when they want to learn about our faith um, is to just listen and look at how we live our lives, like on a daily basis. So. Um, I wouldn't talk about 
the differences and I wouldn't focus on, well, you believe this and you're wrong and this is the right way and I, I don't talk like that about Islam. When I talk to people, I like to show them um, the simplicity of it. I like to tell people all of the things that are so similar to what they're already believing in their lives and show them how the things that they face and the challenges that you face in life um, there are answers for everything, you know, and there are guidances for everything to make it easy on yourself and to help you to make the right decision about common things that we have to do in life, about getting married, about how to treat your family, about what you do for a living, uh, raising your, your children, you know, everything. There is a guidance in this faith to help you to be the best person that you can be in whatever you do if it's your career, if it's how you are with your friends, if it's the things that you do for fun, the way that you socialize, everything about your life, um, this faith has an answer for it and able to give you the, the chance to be the best that you can and to do the best with your life and to make the most of it and to live for a greater purpose. One of the biggest messages that people don't really notice and that isn't projected is that it is simple answers to your life's problems. I'm really proud of Nicole uh, taking all these changes. And it's easy to convert, but it's not easy to continue this uh, in this life because you have to make changes all the time. I see so many people, they convert to Islam, but uh, easily they give up uh, on their new life. So I just want to say I'm so happy. Uh, I'm proud of Nicole.